I'm Jenny Fick. Here's a look at what's happening in your Wednesday morning health headlines. Your genes decide how your heart rate and blood pressure react to exercise. A new study looked at 200 healthy people and showed genetic differences in muscles can play a role in the response to exercise. Researchers say this could help identify at-risk people earlier who need monitoring or treatment. And people with a visual impairment might soon find it easier to steer their way through the streets. This is thanks to a new smart stick developed by two high school students in Egypt. They won a hackathon to, uh, with their idea that the stick is equipped with sensors and a GPS tracking system. The sensors are connected to a headset and act as a guide to the user, alerting of them of any obstructions. Also, the sensors deliver messages to the users in real time by detailing the location of the object. They can be connected to their families to help keep track of their whereabouts, and they can even place calls to a caregiver through the stick. And some another awesome technology here. Delaney Unger has been a dedicated dancer since she was three, but at the age of 12, she learned that a rare bone cancer would require doctors to amputate her knee. However, a rarely used surgical option called rotation plasty is now giving her new hope. Doctors were able to use her ankle and her foot turned backwards as a new knee. And there is a lower leg prosthesis that now fits over her foot, which they nicknamed the Nankle. <laughs> She's 13 now and cancer free, and she has resumed dancing and walking, and she wants to be a doctor someday now.